What's going on fellas? Today we're going to be testing a propane burn. I decided to just go ahead and give it a shot. I had a little bit of propane left in this tank and I knew we would get the higher temperatures. It burns hotter than waste oil by far and hotter than diesel. I have uh, some thermal couple footage to prove it. So we're definitely getting an increase in temperature. You can see there we almost hit 300 degrees. Looks like we're in about the 250 to 260 degree range on the preheat. And if you remember from the subsequent test, we were only in the 225 degree range. So we've seen 280, all kinds of different temperatures in there. Maybe some of that was coming off the burner. That's why I hit it at an angle a little bit. But for the most part, definitely getting a huge increase in temperature. We're melting glass in six minutes. Okay, so this is what I meant by boiling off. There's still liquid in here, but it just gets so cold that the tank pressure drops off below the feed rate we need. Okay, I know this sounds dumb, but I am going to try and run one of these burners with the tank upside down. A typical propane burner could never do that. It would shoot 10 foot flames out the front. And trust me, I know this because that's how I used to thaw off the job site when I was a carpenter in wintertime. I would hold the tank upside down with one of these torches here. And it will shoot a 20 foot flame out the front because it's spraying liquid propane. If we inject liquid propane into that burner, we wouldn't be using uh, as much pressure in the tank. We wouldn't be suffering from the boiling effect we'd be able to transfer a lot more energy in the form of a liquid, which would probably vaporize in the line and definitely as soon as it got to the hot nozzle. So basically what we would be doing is shooting liquid propane basically all the way up to this point where it would start to boil off inside the line rather than boiling it inside the tank itself. This burner can handle that. The aperture size on the oil pen stock is about three millimeters it's huge so this thing could even handle a couple of spatters of liquid propane entering the combustor without a problem too so it's another thing to look at so i think we're going to give that a shot i just wanted to do this test to be thorough to show not only the enhanced temperatures but the cons being the tank issues you have the pressure drops and all that stuff we were able to melt that pot in about a half hour actually in nine minutes we had melted glass it's just dialing in the temperature just right from that point this forge is totally horrible it's just not set up for this i don't have a forge in the experiments i'm doing command that i do so i'm kind of 
doing myself a disservice continuing these tests. We're gonna see what we can do about getting a nice foundry put together.